It's like The Fast and the Furious, except the movie is very slow, and we were the ones who were furious for having to sit through this bullshit. We watch Speed Racer, and this is In Defense of Bad Movies. <laughs> Hey everybody, Sam here, and we are in defense of bad movies. Hey guys. Hey, Hello. what's up? I am joined by my always outrageous cohort, Laura King. Hey there. Bobby Mattern. What's up? And Lauren Bowen. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. <laughs> what's up, gang? Not much. What's up with you? Uh, not much. We I, I watched a bad movie recently. Oh, oh really? yeah? What yeah. one? It's called Speed Racer. Oh, me too. Oh, I watched that. Right. Oh, Did I watched you? a movie yeah. called Speed Racer too, but we must have watched it. You watched Speed Racer too? Because mine was... Amazing. Well, that's great <laughs> because you watched Speed Racer. You too. know, I didn't realize that Emil Hirsch was such a bad actor, but oh my god, what a bad actor! I didn't is, realize he was an actor. I just is, saw it. Ooh, is he just suffering from one of those like the Star Wars complex where you're in a not well done know. movie and it makes you look bad? I don't know, but <laughs> man, he was really bad in this movie. Well, before we get into I'm how sorry, bad or I'm bad he wa- how bad he was or wasn't, let us uh, start as always with Laura's. Hmm. This is a fast movie, so let's say Laura's 10-second movie synopsis. <laughs> Who's got a timer? Who's got a timer ready? I did not come prepared. Give me one second. Okay. 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 Fascinating radio. Okay, yeah. We can edit this out, right? We can. Zip, zip. But that would involve me taking Karen. the time to do it. And that I actually don't fun. know how to cue up my watch. And this I, is fun. I, I I'll, I'll just, wa- I'll just you know watch what? it. No, I figured it out. Oh, okay, good. This is all behind the curtain. This all right. Is 10 seconds. You know, I, I, I find it really fast Sam. on my Samsung. Sam. Can you shut up? Android. Sam, please Go shut for up. it. All right. Sounds like it starts now. Okay, so if you guys want a sugar high or want to feel like you've just got a rush of sugar, watch this movie because it's just like a lot of lab colors flashing and in your, your face. And time is up. That tells us exactly what we need to know yeah. for this movie. <laughs> Actually, I, I took the the idea of a sugar coma from a bad review because I'm like, yeah, that's really good at analysis. That's fun. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I like the analysis of the movie. Oh, yeah, it is a good analysis, yeah. which is what we look for yeah, in a synopsis. Exactly. Perfect. Um, <laughs> uh, now, Bobby, you brought this movie to our attention. Mm-hmm. It did. Yeah. And because you like it for some reason. I love this movie. You love this movie I love even. This movie. I think this is a great movie. Because we've had defenses of movies that are like, yeah, we, I kind of like it. It's better than no, the guys, reviews. Great movie. You Great movie. Okay. Pretty great terrible. movie. Mm. I... Right off the bat, I'm going to say I disagree. <laughs> Bobby, why did you do this to us? All right, so I realized going into this movie, and I didn't, I didn't know. I'm actually like not that familiar with Wachowski's work. I've watched the Matrix movies in Jupiter Ascending, and that's about it. But um, so you watched one good movie. <laughs> I have. Actually, I don't think I've seen the third Matrix movie. Cause, so you watched one good movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't change the figures. <laughs> but um, you know, when kind of thinking about this movie. I realized that while the Wachowskis often strike out, you can't ever really accuse them of cynically making their movies. Um, they always seem totally earnest to a fault sometimes. Um, and sometimes it feels like they aren't trying to impress anyone. But I think Speed Racer isn't one of those movies that isn't meant to impress anyone. I actually think Speed Racer is a lot of fun. And um, it's not only visually engaging, but I think it's very visually inventive. I try to think of another movie that even looks remotely like it. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. No, I disagree. <laughs> I'll get into that later. I thought of that movie. Uh, no, no, no. I think I'm pretty but, um, without trying to get too pretentious, I think Speed Racer um, is kind of an interesting take on the artist struggle. Where the artist kind of... No? I'm, no, I'm being no, totally no, serious. No, 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 Where the artist struggles to... <laughs> struggles between the ideas of making art and um, balancing the financial pressures and obligations. And, and I, I don't know. I'll end, my, I'll end my opening statements there. I, I think this movie is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to look at, but I'm also all in on the story and most of the performances. <laughs> I, I will say visually, I liked it. I was very impressed with the visuals. It looked like a cartoon. 
Mm-hmm. And that was cool. But too much so for yeah. me. It had a color palette that would make Brian Fuller say, whoa, tone that down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I felt sick watching the camera go around, like the, how it would have flashbacks yeah. behind the people. And I that, was like, I didn't care that for that. Was oh, yeah. Like it was, it was a little screen. hectic. And it was so animated that to have real people in the middle of yeah. the very animated world was like that feels jarring. No, okay see this is where I'm gonna well they, and they couldn't they didn't mesh it well like no, they did I not have <laughs> like people oh, here we go. in this world <laughs> oh like the, this world was very hyped up mm-hmm. and not oh, I and mean the people weren't hyped up no no I, I, I don't think they were hyped up either. enough I think that there was a, the balance was off on that see I think this movie actually um, and that's my problem with a lot of CGI movies. Like I was thinking of movies like, um, like Alice in Wonderland, but now that you mentioned it, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory mm-hmm. too, um, that put actors in front of green screens in front of like really cartoony, um, backgrounds. But I think Speed Racer actually does a good job of making the people match the cartoon background. Like it feels like a living cartoon. Um, and I mm-hmm. like everything feels really exaggerated. No, because it's like you have these people in this world and they are kind of real, like. They try, like, the emotions, like, they're trying to make it seem, like, just here, like, just, like, average. And then you have this, like, hyped up sense of reality behind them, and it doesn't quite match. Like, there's a race car in their, in their living it room. Quite match, but no, I disagree with you. Like, yeah, I know. I know you're disagreeing with me. I'm saying that there's, they have a race car in their living room, mm-hmm. and their, and their house is horribly bright colors, and, and it's like, they they don't balance it out well, in my opinion. What do you guys think? I think I'll agree that they do a good job of sort of melding these people into the cartoon world because they sort of feel cursory and superficial and like, you know, we're just going to have a little short half hour adventure (laughs) that takes two hours and 15 minutes. Can we get to the plot? What? Can we talk about the first 15 minutes? Because I would love to talk about the first 15 minutes, which I think (laughs) is an incredibly strong opening. It was interesting. I'm okay. I'll grant you the, the poor man, Taylor Kitsch. You mean? Who was also Which on that? Friday Night Lights? Who's that? Who are you the about? brother. Is this the brother? Okay. Yeah. No, who's Taylor Kitsch? I don't know. Um, um, he's really hot. I'll agree. I kind of appreciated the opening of the, like, during the race, we're also covering mm-hmm. the exposition and the backstory with the brother. Mm-hmm. It was fast, but it was an interesting idea. I kind of appreciate that. And so, for a movie that had a half an hour of a giant exposition scene, it I was still long. Felt, it was really, but it I was also really felt long. like, okay, you explained to me this circumstance but i don't know the show very well i've never really watched an episode there's really not much to the show but and so the movie like really dropped you down into like you were just plunked into this world and it didn't give like even a small nod of explanation of like why do they have a chimpanzee well, like, do you yeah. need an explanation why they have a yeah, chimpanzee? Yeah, I do, actually, I need, because it's I need weird. Them, I, think, <laughs> I need them to acknowledge that they have a chimpanzee. I yeah. think it's like, so crucial do. that they don't. So to the, it's, <laughs> it's crucial so to the insane. chimpanzee even a little bit working, but they don't acknowledge no. that there's a chimpanzee. They don't talk about the fact that there's a chimpanzee, though. They don't even that mention, like, like, oh, hey, Chim Chim, or anything like that. Oh, they say hey, Chim Chim, but like, a few times. a half an hour into the movie. <laughs> what do they call the dad? They all Pops. call him. Pops. Even, Pops. Pops. Even, Pops. even people not related to Pops, Pops call him Pops. Pops. That's his legal name. His legal Pops name is Pops? I, so stupid. I don't mind so the dumb. chimpanzee not being explained. I, I, man, I, I mind the fact that 42 minutes into this movie, I wrote, who are these people? This is true. I, don't get, I didn't yeah. feel like so anyone was explained. I don't explained. get that. Like, 15 minutes in, I think you have a very no, I absolutely adequate introduction don't to every see, member of the racer family. I don't want to see Speed. Uh, that's his name, right? The main character. Mm-hmm. Yes. Speed. Um, I don't want to see anything about him being a younger kid. I don't give a rat's ass. I'm sorry, in, but in I honesty, absolutely in all, do not care about honesty, him as a young kid. I think kid. the kid who plays younger Speed is he perhaps the... Oh, really? I was going to oh, say he's like perhaps him? the worst actor in the movie. Oh, no. I don't think that. I thought they were... No, so is um, Emil Hirsch. So they're both I, pretty I, bad. I love so. Emil Hirsch in this movie. But, like, give you props for the opener. Like, the uh, him racing and then him racing, like, his brother's ghost car. And yeah, that was neat. short of his record mm-hmm. not to break it. It was pretty and I sweet. Think, I think one by one it goes through every member of the racer family except for Sparky because no one actually really cares about Sparky. Is he a member of the family? Or is he just a weirdo He's like a mechanic them? or an apprentice. To I think, yeah, he's just a mechanic. He's part of the extended family. But he's kind of like a... He's like a member of the family. I had to read that in the Family that business. he was he was a mechanic yeah. really? to the family. The way they establish he's not a member of the family is because he's got a British accent. He's our family That's guy. right. That's a good point. Thank you for that. He could have gone to a boarding yeah. school or something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but no, I think that first 15 minutes really establishes the aesthetic for the rest of the movie. It set up the color palette. It does. It was yeah. like It was before thing. the color palette was offensive. Like, I'll agree. The 15 minutes were probably the best part as I was getting See, I think the most, the most offensive, and I say this like 
the most gloriously offensive the color palette gets is suburbia. Yes. In the first in the first fifteen, yeah. it was Tim Burton. Blue sky. It wasn't even Tim Burton. It was yeah. fluorescent. It's, it's wonderful. I love it. It was fluorescent. I did not mind the visuals at all. Uh, I I minded but everything it also... else. I was completely lost plot yes, wise. Yeah, it's a problem. Like okay, I get that he's he was chasing his brother's ghost. Uh, his oh, record that part was no 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 because okay. I think oh, I everything that. is. Everything is crystal clear in the fifth, first fifteen minutes. In I, the first fifteen I will give you minutes, this. Um, once the the what are their names, the Tokokan family get introduced. That's, <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's where, where we're yes. really that's where I, I agree. That. They do need to drop you a little bit more of a narrative. We, did bone. you need you to clarify? Because I was so confused. They shoved the whole plot so the much. They shoved like, so much plot in this. We were yeah. An hour and a half in, and like, wait, what's happening? You know what it felt but like to are me. Are you are you lost at all? Like, yeah, up to past oh, the oh. like you, the first fifteen bit. minutes is very clear. The visit to Royalton, I feel, is very clear. Yes, and then it yeah. falls apart. No, I I I don't even think the visit to Royalton makes sense. I'm like, well, what the hell is this guy offering? You know he's bad because I, of course he's, he's awesome bad because uh, you know Roger he's bad Allen because because, of because he's how? a terrible actor. How? No, how oh dare you? How dare you? Because I will grant you. That's a delicious performance. How did this movie get such great actors? Who is that? Roger Allen is a British actor. He's awesome. He's the he's, original Javert. Right? Yeah, he's the original Javert. He's in the thick of it. He was. Just, he's a really good actor. Like it was exciting to see him. Like, oh, good. This will be worth it. Alan yeah. Thicke's late night show. <laughs> yeah. Every, every time. I'm sorry, every time yeah. the thick I'm of it comes up. The thick of it. T h i k e. It was ridiculous over the time. No, he was fun. I liked it. He, I lo- I he was deliciously evil. But then he started revealing the sinister. Like after he oh, offered. Oh, that turn is amazing. Speed. He is great. But his monologue about like <laughs> uh, turning to stocks oh, and business and racing and like That's I don't incredibly count. straightforward. Yeah, no, was it? I was no, like, I, that I, businesses fix the wasn't. race to drive up stock but prices. No. But the monologue Period. was boring. It was yeah, not boring. It was really oh, it was bad. very. He was delivering yeah. it well, but just the, the way it was well, written or something oh about it was like it 1948. Flips, Burns, stock went up its, on ten. No, and then like under the cars that can destroy other cars. I don't understand that whole premise. So you have you have a race you have like yes. five races in the whole movie or something maybe yeah. three well, i like don't know four, but. four okay and then so they all their cars do these tricks all of them have the cars called it car food. yes <laughs> okay car food, whatever but the and, but they then do this, them in the cartoon right the cartoon has yeah. like royal cars. 10 creates this car that has something underneath it but the car has a transponder of some sort Trans- Trans- and that was exciting uh, a chandler but that's not until chandler's the, drop uh, from friends yeah. that's not until the grand prix yeah, that's not until the grand prix. But that was a big deal. deal. With but and so he was. Why was that one so much worse than the other cars that had Casa know, like, Cristo? Right. That's what yeah, you mean? yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Cars of Cristo. Lots whatever. of questions about Casa Cristo. Like, well, Royalton didn't have any racers. Like Casa Cristo. Well, no, I understand that, but I'm saying why was that was the one? He, the way the Back one car he developed. Why was that so much worse than the ones at the other? It was race. not much worse than it was the leader until Speed took it out. But are, are you meaning with the no, mayhem I, yeah, that no, the car yeah, is in? Yeah, yeah. I like, just mean like the, tri- the. Do you mean like catapults that throw beehives yes, into yes, the car? Yes. Oh, I love the beehives. I see no problem with this. <laughs> I like the beehives. It's <laughs> so cool. the cars that are all tricked out. Like, because it's illegal. Why? Yes, okay. no, but I know it was so, illegal at so, the end, but why wasn't it illegal at the other race? So, because Casco Cristo rally is a oh. shitty race. And oh. why, if it's a shitty race, and if it's. Uh, I didn't say shitty, I said shady. Shady, I'm sorry. Okay, if Speed like has to take part in this race for mm-hmm. some plot to like do something yes. which I still well, don't know yeah. so, so uh, that Tokokan uh, Motors and Pops, okay, go. Can, can drive their stock up and no. avoid getting bought out by Musha Motors okay, and, I'm, I'm, Christ- and who's Musha Moto? Musha Motors is who's Musha um, Moto? They own the, the Asian family, I guess. The, the other Asian family. There's another they, Asian family. They own, listen, I understand that this part is a little bit, and that's not me being racist. That's no, no, it's because not. this movie is there's confusing. Two, there's two groups of Asians. There's, there's the Togo family. There's Rain and his pretty sister, mm-hmm. and like Dad's a jerk. I'm not sure who Dad bit. was. Dad might be a little bit of like a racist cliche of a of a Japanese businessman. Yeah. Which one was he? He was the one who was in scenes with Rain and his pretty sister. He was the one who. Yeah. Made he was not deal the one who talked to Royalton in that really amazing not the floating. One that talked to Royalton. Okay. Can we? Can not the we, one that like shook his head at him at the end of the movie, just that, approving. That like, is Mr. Musha. Can we go That's back? Okay. Can we go back and assume that our listeners have not seen the movie? Okay. <laughs> and, Sorry. Yes. Because I've seen the movie and I'm lost. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do want to ask though. Okay. Going back to Casa Cristo, the crazy backdoor uh-huh. pops is so mad. Speed's getting involved. Race. This is super shady and backdoor. If it's so awful, why is it televised? Yeah, I don't know. Why? I, is and if it's awful televised, things are never televised and, in this world. No, if it is, if it is televised in back alley and whatever, mm-hmm. um, how are they getting away with all these illegal things? Why it's is on it a camera. Because the it Grand happens Prix. in the dust cloud when you can't see them. No, no, not all the time. 
It seemed like they were doing sneaky stuff up yeah. front. Too. They make that comment yeah. about how it's hard to see them in the dust. Well, all right. And then, w- and then also, what a boring uh, race to televise. That's true. Okay, so let, let's okay, let's start over. Okay. You got yes. Speed Racer. Yes. When he's a kid, his his brother, brother was Rex. a really good racer, mm-hmm. and then he started doing shady things himself. Yes. He, he found he, out that racing was fixed. Yes. And he tried to expose it, and then they started pinning stuff on him. Right. Correct. Okay, and so he died in yes. Casa Cristo. Correct. In a okay. crash. Well, died wink. Well, the movie heavily winks at <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. Burned it makes body. absolutely <laughs> no mystery that he did not die. Right. <laughs> and so, help me out here. Uh, so, race, race or speed grows up. Mm-hmm. He start basically is chasing his brother's ghost, uh, trying to be this great racer himself. Mm-hmm. He is, but is he doing it to chase his brother's well, ghost, what, or is I, he doing I, it for himself? I'm, yeah, I'm, he's I'm, always this is an important struggle. That's all that's in him. Yeah. Let's just fa- let's just do the bare bones. He just loves racing. Plot, right? Apparently. He loves racing. So, like so, then, so, so he's a really good racer. Uh, he wants this royalty guy wants to sign him mm-hmm. to be uh, a corporate tool. Yes. He rejects the offer. Yes. Things go a little off the rails here. That's that's where Royalton reveals like. T- take me through Royalton's monologue yeah, at this point. Yeah, Let, let's hear your Royalton interpretation. Royalton reveals that yeah. racing is a fixed sport, and it has been for the past 50 years. Because the winners, big, like their companies... That big evil corporations yeah, yeah. control the races uh, to drive up stock prices. Because that works. And then he says that since Speed will not uh, sign with him, that he will ruin Speed. And he does in the in the Fuji race. Oh, that's what I think. That's one of the things that threw me off. So he does this monologue. He's like, "This is what's going to happen. You're going to go in this Fuji race, mm-hmm. and then and then it does this and then image the race. of the Fuji race, and you're thinking, okay, this is as it's happening. Mm-hmm. And then, but then they pull back to the end of his monologue. So mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, he. This is just like what would happen. They're cutting back and forth. Right, but but in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, this is just what's happening. Right, yeah, I thought it, it was just what's happening. Th- this like, this, if this he is chose like, yeah, that. if you if you oh, do this, is what's going to happen. But nothing set in stone yet, so let's go to now. Mm-hmm. And but then like, no, no, that is what happened. Even though they cut to other points of view in that race, that, that was, would be impossible for him to know. Yeah, but I mean, it's and then if you were if, if, you were if I had a, about that. To settle any other confusion, the next scene is Speed sitting defeated after the race. Well, no, I mean it was orig- eventually made clear, but at the time it was mm-hmm. it was very jarring and annoying. <laughs> but that's not even was my major problem. Sounds like a Sam problem. <laughs> no, I, I don't think, think, think so. I think it's problem. a seventy three percent of critics problem. <laughs> um, okay, and so yes, uh, Royalton is trying to do a deal with Tokugawa. He's trying and to do a deal with Mush. Okay. He's trying to do a deal with Listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be an apologist for this. No, this but is I'm crazy. really confused. This okay, is so he thing. wants okay. to do, he wants to do a deal with Musha Motors, <laughs> okay. run by Mr. Musha, mm-hmm. and then this was established in the floating head scene, mm-hmm. which is a cool scene. Is it? I love no, that scene. No. I love that scene. <laughs> I, ca- I cannot tell you how much I love that scene. But so what they establish is M- Mr. Musha has the largest transponder foundry transponders yeah in the world and so um and that's a good thing yes for cars but mr musha is trying to buy out his competition which is toko togokon motors which is rain and his pretty sister okay and so um and so um what is it this might be a Sam problem because so, all I'm hearing is la 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 yeah, la la. No, so the point, no, no. The point is, the point is okay. You have on. two struggles going on. You have Musha uh-huh. and Togokan, and then you have um, you have Royalton trying to trying to settle a deal. Who with is Musha. the other gangster guy yeah. who was who, British? Who that is a race fixer. To? That's a the, race fixer. Oh really? Yes. The cartoonishly ridiculous <laughs> named Cruncher Black British mobsters. Cruncher Black who are threatening Rain, <laughs> and he works with 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 Rain. Who's he works with is, Rain. Yes, Taijo. Okay, if he works with Rain, Taijo, then why were they torturing him? Because Rain no longer wants to participate in fixed races, and he wants to win races. Okay. And so th- he's on their bad side, mm-hmm. and he has information that can implicate Royalton mm-hmm. for working with Cruncher Black, okay. which is where Inspector General... Okay, Royalton is working with Cruncher Black. No, no, Inspector, Inspector Detector. Detector. Inspector Detective, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not Detector, please. Yes. Inspector detective. detective. Okay, if you guys didn't know, he was a detective. He's French, so of course he's going to be like oh, he's German. Inspe- <laughs> oh, that's not a French accent. <laughs> no, I grant you, it's weird. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, it sounds like There were about okay. 32 different accents now, in this movie. Can I say, now. I'm really bummed okay. out. This is a, this is a, this is non sequitur. I'm really bummed out that there's a moment where Spidal and Chim Chim are watching TV. And um, Pops calls out, hey, they're speaking in German. I'm so bummed they did that because that means on this planet Germany exists. And that means that <laughs> other real countries exist. You hate Germans. I so really much. like the idea of this. <laughs> oh, I like that. It's on an the alternate planet. universe. Yeah, yeah, totally. I like that. Okay, now let's go back. Okay. Okay. Right. So, Rain. Wait, wait, hold on. You can have an alternate universe and still have Germany. So you want an alternate universe where there is no Germany. I'm going I'm I'm to nitpick I'm, again. I'm he with opens Laura. up a briefcase full of Benjamins, and that really bummed me out. <laughs> oh, I, I'm with Laura. I think you just don't like Germany. <laughs> that's true. I don't. I'm okay. pro-German, but I don't. So Rain is being tortured by the British race fixers. Mm-hmm. He, jumping ahead, mm-hmm. wants Speed and Mysterio Racer. Um, Racer, Racer X. X. Yeah. Racer X. To join him or at Shady Rex. Casa Cristo. Mm-hmm. If you take he needs, he to, needs to drive Casa he needs Cristo, to win Casa Cristo so he can get into which the will Grand make his Prix? Would, no which will no. make his company more valuable which means they can avoid the Musha Motors buyout. Okay, that was his secret reason. No, that's the reason he came up with. So if they can help okay. him avoid the the Musha Motors buyout, okay. he will give them information that will right. implicate royalty. Okay. And so okay, that was up front. But yes. then he didn't really have the information. No, he instead drove up his stock price and then worked out a deal with Royalton mm-hmm. to buy them out. Okay. Maybe it's just because so it's I do not care about business, but it's still really confusing. You had to explain to all that to us to, you know, fairly intelligent grown up people. This is a family movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who and is this movie aimed at? That's why I asked Bobby earlier. I'm like, who is this movie and for? The business yeah. talk? I think. Not just confusing, so boring. Yeah. Honestly, I think that. It's okay to not understand all the business stuff. <laughs> I, I agree with that, but they could have. And yes, I think that's where you that's where you can make a lot of judicious cuts to bring <laughs> yeah, out the runtime. Absolutely. We don't need all this here. I'm going to say maybe the Togu Khan family doesn't even need to be, even need to be in this movie. I agree. Yeah. And, and that's, again, not racist. And this may, yeah, I was going to say this may sound racist, but maybe not too Asian. Maybe maybe make one oh. Asian and we, one. We are no, no, reaching just, our Asian quota for the movie. I don't, I don't mean that way. I just meant to avoid confusion. They don't need to be d- fighting families. Like white you people have with some... our wide eyes cannot <laughs> cannot yeah. see Asian people well. We can we can tell all the white people apart, but the Asian people it's very hard. I can't tell all the white people. One apart. Of them yeah, yeah actually, them Lauren, yeah. Um, when when Racer X first came on the screen, she's like, "Is that his brother?" Like, and then and then I had to well, say, "Oh, I'm, I'm, that's I believe that's Matthew Fox." And we all knew. You know, that's, because but, one of the no, announcers but, very hamily says, if know. his brother's out there watching, I'm sure he's very proud. But you, knew, that, but you know Matthew Fox. Fox. I didn't know he was in the movie, and that took I, me Well, I didn't either. But, okay. okay. Well, I don't <laughs> see race. Or oh, that's not I have right. face blindness. That, that, I that never recognize people I've met at parties. I like how um, <laughs> Racer X, at one point, he, he's fighting in the night, and because he doesn't have access to his mm-hmm. nose and up mask, he puts something covering his nose and down. Mm-hmm. Because... <laughs> You you know yeah. I don't know people are gonna piece that together like you don't and, remember what a chin looks like when you see a so face fun, and he's <laughs> had plastic surgery why does he need to cover his face at all uh-huh. Good exactly. double, double protection double layer protection. if he's <laughs> fighting against the royal double tins, up on it. apparently it, he is it, and he's fighting double some no name ninja he doesn't need to hide his identity <laughs> in any way listen we know Rex Racer has a life or Racer X not Racer Racer you know Racer X has established a life. Beyond, you know, being reborn in his new identity. So yeah, maybe he's he, w- he was stuck people. on an island for years. Super spoiler, and, yeah. it's Speed's brother. Yeah. What? He faked his death. <laughs> oh, and that was revealed at the very That's end. Very and end. it was only revealed long, to the viewers. Long, uh, yeah. Very suggestive that they thought they were going to get a sequel out of this drivel. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think they did think this they were going to get a sequel, actually. Really? But then I was mad. The whole, like, oh, do you ever regret not telling them? Like, no, it's fine. Like, he admits that this is better. But now, surely you can go tell them, hey, it, I'm not dead. Why? He's Ma- not dumb with his work what's he's he gonna doing? continue doing what's dangerous work? maybe i watch too much soap operas but this secret should i feel like this all secret should eventually be revealed to people yeah. no i disagree especially when your family that's in also anyway got eight okay right. so i'm not saying this as a defense because mm. leave the source material as it was um racer x identity was was one of those things that was never revealed to the racer family i think Really? Like it was just an ongoing. Is Racer actually actually his brother in the mm-hmm. cartoon? Yes. Okay. And, and why we, is it secret? The audience knows, but Race Speed Racer doesn't. Oh, I don't care for that. The narrator goes, um, you know, the narrator. Well, they know well, that. Yeah. So, you know, a good way to solve that for the movie is do show that. you know his brother put the mask on and then have him be there and then not ever sh- bring it up again. Like you could just pretend that they don't 
know or care. If they think, you know, it might be the brother, then they don't have to say anything. Can I say I don't understand any of the problems with the way the Racer X reveal is <laughs> resolved? I think it's handled quite well and quite and beautifully. It's stupid. It's really stupid because it adds another 10 minutes onto the movie. Where it adds another, you... like, one and a half minutes onto the movie. <laughs> it feels like don't 10 minutes. Me. Yeah, it does feel like <laughs> so yeah. every, You have every, this whole monologue from Matthew Fox that, that feels like him the whole movie has been like, off. who's Racer yeah. X? It's his brother. Who's Racer X? It's his brother. But who's Racer It's his brother. I, now we're gonna tell you who Racer X yeah, is. I don't. His brother, I don't think who's then, oh, Racer is. X is a question in the movie. Yeah. I don't. I think yeah, the movie, it is. It definitely because is because as soon as we meet Racer are, X, oh, it's his brother. They are. Yeah, but I think that's intentional. I don't well, think that's okay. poor his planning on the movie. His little brother, until we don't opens need the door the and then slams it shut right away because he doesn't want to be confronted with that person. Well, he never knew is that the brother. Yeah. yeah. Because know, there is like, a crazy spread on these kids. Yeah, I don't know. This, there the is. racers have sex every 10 years. Susan Sarandon this is stayed a family fertile where, for a long time. <laughs> where Matthew Fox, Emil Hirsch, and the annoying little kid are all brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I could see the first two, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, totally. Because but then when you add a 10-year-old kid in. Maybe because you lose the first son and you want to have a third to like make up for the one you lost. And then you get Spratle's stuck. legal name is Rex. With, huh? Spratle's legal name is Rex. Is that true? No. Okay. <laughs> Then, because I was hoping there was some explanation for why his name was Spritel. What is a Spritel? I mean, Spritel. Is that a, well, the main character's name is Speed? Yeah. It's a word. It's, and it's a racing family. Yeah. Spritel. Spritel. What's I mean, a Spritel? Does it, I don't know. Speaking of Spritel, w- when he's going why? on his sugar rush rampage uh-huh. um, <laughs> in, in Royalton's place, yes. which is bonkers. Uh-huh. Um, that was so unnecessary. He, it was like Wally without the charm. What? He, he uh, sees. What a weird scene to have. It is, but then he scene. sees something that, like, he makes his face like, oh, no. oh shit. Saw something this get is put really on one of the cars. Hook. What did he see? What? The spear, the spear hook. hook. He saw that. Oh. But, but we didn't understand what that was. Is it not? No. We see the spear hook come out. We see it clamp onto another car. Yeah. To but do it is, damage, but we don't know. And then do we he know? says, presumably. And then he yeah, says I don't presume loud, such things. A spear hook. And, and then we're like, what's that? What the hell is that? It sounds kind of messy. That one definitely comes back around and takes off. It. We see the spear hook later, but at the time. Like, but then wait, everyone knows what a spear hook is too. What? In what's the world. big? Why are they playing it like this big? Oh snap! He saw something like and a why dinosaur. Did he say because he what is Royalton doing developing a spear hook? But but my point was at the they time I didn't know what that was. Royalton doesn't develop like behind. Yeah, the weapons. Grand Prix are supposed to be the yeah. like legit races that are fancy. And so the one before it's not a legit race. I don't know. I it's don't. not. But, okay. but it's a way to qualify yeah. for the big win race apparently, which doesn't make any sense. So okay, and then when these people get <laughs> when their cars crash, do they die? I mean, like presumably they fall down. No, like, they do not cliff. die. Did you miss the bubbles? They go into a bubble ball that sometimes apparently they, doesn't kill them. Sometimes they crash, and there's Ooh, explosions where I didn't see a bubble were? come out. And I only saw bubble balls in the big races. I didn't see bubble balls at Casa Cristo. Oh, there were definitely bubble balls. I think like, there were, the yeah. first two uh, seconds of Casa Cristo, there's bubble balls. It's bananas. But the guy that's allergic to bees is now dead because someone threw a beehive into his car. There are a few dead people. Boo. When when the car crashes and explodes and there was no bubble, those people are straight Rex bubble was not dead. an exception. Rex was the regular. The bubbles are to let you know that sh- it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Explosions. Yeah. No. Don't overthink it. For bubbles. this person. Mm-hmm. Bubbles. 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 You're watching a movie. Bubbles. 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 Are these cars made My out bubbles. of adamantium? They, they are. are indestructible. They are until, for dramatic reasons, they need to be banned. <laughs> <laughs> they only last so long. <laughs> are you saying it's I cinematic can't just because it was shown in a cinema? <laughs> I can't believe I've gotten this far without having to defend Spritel, which I thought oh, this was going to be so much of me I assume Spritel has no defense. Because I'm going to tell you, it's really hard to defend yeah. Spritel. Yeah, no, but what a stupid character. I accept Spritel in the, like, it's a family movie and you have to have obnoxious characters in a family movie for the young children to associate. He is awful. Yeah. He my, and his monkey, but still. My take on Spritel is I, underst- is I understand why Spritel is there. Um I don't like the kid who plays Spritel. No. I'm not necessarily even like putting it business. on the kid. I think he's Spritel's too. Where's that kid from? You're killing me, Smalls. I think he's that guy's younger brother. <laughs> he looked like from... Sandlot breadhead boy. I think, I think Spritel's too old. Something else, think, right? Yeah, think, and, and he's too he's much a of a smartass. Like, I think he should have been adorable and not snarky. Yeah, he's super snarky. He, yeah, and I'm not necessarily blaming it on him because kid actors, you know, but all of his business was just hateable. He was so cartoony and like oh this is supposed to be wagging like no he's just terrible can i can i read a little bit of an interesting defense of the 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 sugar rush scene okay okay so this is from the recently defunct grantland uh written by alex papadamus and so in his write-up of speed racer he said 
Oh, and this is this is talking about the juxtaposition of the scene where um, Speed and Royalton are talking, are having their showdown, mm -hmm. and then, you know, that's juxtaposed on top of Spritel and Chim Chim on their candy high. Yes. He says, that moment where a character is taken into a room and informed that everything he knows is wrong is a Wachowski staple, but Royalton's villain reveal speech to Speed about the unassailable might of money is Neo's meeting with the architect recast as a critique of capitalism. Cut to a kid and his monkey freaking out. There's an earnest attempt being made here to reconcile the baked-in cynicism of entertainment aimed at kids with the pure anarchic joy of their response to it. I think that's really interesting. Like, that's an interesting take on Spritel that I don't know if I totally <laughs> buy. Who wrote that? Mm -hmm. Alex Papademus yeah. of Grant. That's so a lot of resources. But so the idea that, like, they're talking a, very cynically about entertainment um, and how fixed and shrewd every everything, like, the, the business side of entertainment is, and you're cutting to a very feral kind of response to entertainment, um, you know, in between there. And I don't... I. I, I'm not. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that's that's intentional. Like the Wachowskis so, know what they're doing. So wait, what is what is the ultimate? What are they saying with it again? The the point of that scene is that um, you're juxtaposing a response to entertainment on top of like a like a joyful, very childlike response to to entertainment on top of like a very cynical scene about the like the business of entertainment. But so both are negative. The, like so, it's, so, it's a condemnation of the consumer as well as the I, corporation. Or, 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 is, I, or is it I saying like, we're supposed oh to my gosh, hey guys, you know that way. kid? You want to know where he's from? He's in Jersey Girl. <laughs> oh, is he really? <gasps> is he the little kid that looks at Gertrude's? I, I have a question then. He's so basically, it is, oh, is, yeah, no, Brian. <laughs> is, are they basically saying that like, yeah, you know, there's all this business and, and stuff uh, in, in kids' movies, but it's okay because kids enjoy it anyway? Because that's what it feels like. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. And that, like, we as consumers are just manic to a level of destruction and insanity and mindless, hazy, just binges. Cause we or maybe, are or maybe it's supposed to be sad that there's, you know, like, the, the cynicism that's going into the, the <laughs> business end of it, you know, and... and like the spritel thing is like trying to ref. I don't know. <laughs> this I don't like right. spritel. I'm gonna be straight. I don't like spritel. I get where he could work, but spritel <laughs> bugs me. Guys, does yeah. this movie take place in the Matrix? Is this a because it? I it, wish. It kind of feels like it. No. <laughs> okay. Asked and answered. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. It's so. I'm still confounded by who the movie is for because it's market like they were trying to market mm -hmm. it as a family movie but then like the boring business talk and the plot that kids can't follow and like the they say shit several times in the movie they say this shit too much, much right they, at, least at least twice, twice. When, when was the second and, time? and oh, they throw wow. shit once too and the they monkey throw throws shit, shit. <laughs> can i I'm say like, my my favorite spritel moment in the in the movie and I'm, and there are so many to pick from <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm hard pressed to find them, but is when he eagerly says, "Like, oh, we should send him chim chim cookies." Oh, oh God. yeah, heard that. <laughs> Remember that. And then, like, a child calls young speed a retard. Like, this movie, if for family, was told without care or conscience. She says yeah. it, and then Trixie punches her in the face. But she still said it. But kids punch each other. That's, still that's th bad well, that's too. Okay, I was yeah, glad that Ariel bad. Winter punched that girl in the face. Like, Cute literally, Ariel no Winter. kids movies have <laughs> kids punched each other. I know that's a horrible way to, to handle a situation mm -hmm. that you don't like. But it's... it did make me like little Trixie. Like, yeah, yeah cool yeah. for her. Also, Trixie, what the hell is her kid? I love Trixie. Like, I don't know. I, I think that Trixie is great for females. Like, I think it's great because you have her and she's, like, at one point racing in the race because, you know, that Asian guy, I can't think of his name, it ha mm -hmm. was paralyzed for a mm -hmm. few hours or whatever. <laughs> um, After a do. really cool karate scene. <laughs> yeah. it's a really with cool nin I, I with ninjas, it. too. I, I, I legitimately enjoyed it. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I laughed during the scene. That was the only it was I love the zoom in. My favorite, one of my favorite jokes in the movie is the zoom in on um, on John Goodman's Greco Roman wrestling ring <laughs> right before he like, beats the shit out of people. <laughs> that was fun. Um, but. Yeah, like I don't know. It felt like she was secondary, like to yeah, every sure. like she. I don't know. Like it was, she wasn't really established very well. Yeah, in and the it's world. and I'm sure again, it's the concept of it being like you know from the cartoon, and the uh -huh. cartoon is very 
primary colors and cursory like you don't need to know these people we're just yeah. here to have fun and penis centric and, so, and penis centric yeah, and yeah. so the movie certainly didn't like we don't need to justify these characters because you're watching it because you love the property I'm like but I still I feel like I, see, I need I don't, to know these people I don't get that like I don't I actually don't think this movie I mean I think this movie is actually like pretty faithful to the property but I don't think it relies on any knowledge of the property or pays any reverence to the property like most of the characters outside of the racer family are not from the property I that's fair. I, I, I think that just in the family, though, there were a lot of points where I'm watching this. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, OK, I guess it's because it's from the original from the cartoon. Yeah, it's probably not. But, but um, no, actually, in watching a cartoon. Well, may, I don't know. Maybe not. I didn't. And I mean, like the characters from the cartoon, you have a main character, parents, girlfriend. But if I, but but if I but my point is, though, I mean, if I have to have that moment where like, oh, well, I, I guess it, whether it is or not. Something's yeah. wrong. In the Something's world of the broken movie. that I have to go like, what's going on here? In this world, like they didn't feel defined well enough. Mm-hmm. We had our yeah, backstory. Like, I didn't explain, need to know. I mean, the I think they're all archetypes, but that's his family. I mean, so what? Yeah. They're all archetypes. <laughs> like, no, but I don't, I don't think that's like, a problem. I don't need to know his family. Like I, I want to know do. more about I the think, problem. I think the family is a big part of the movie. Yeah, I agree with that. So it's sure, like his dad, like his dad, but his mom feels kind of redundant. Like, oh my god, she, no! It's like she has that one scene no. that just feels really. Trivial. I feel like we need more mom. Like, yeah, they try, we need more they try of it. To they give her like the grounding point of the family. They don't yeah, try, but, they do. No, but especially try. who plays the mom? Susan and Susan Sarandon, 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 Sarandon and Christina Ricci. Yeah. totally we criminally underused. Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't see the women enough. We try to put these women in as like. The women are the support system for the men, and even then, they're not given enough of a role. And, no, I Chris- think, and I think Christi- Christina Ricci is a joint. Get rid of the younger brother. Oh, totally she's, she's a hottie. She totally did Get it for me, too. Get rid of the younger brother and, and just like. Listen, you're not going to get any complaints with, more with, mom from me there. Girlfriend. But you're also not going to be able to get rid of that younger brother. No. They're dumbly going to think that that's what kids want. I don't yeah. know. Um, there's a weird moment. So I love how PG, um, <laughs> like Speed and Trixie's relationship is. And how it almost feels like a relationship filtered through like a ten year old's perspective. Like <laughs> but there's one weird moment where they're in the car at inspiration point where she's like, Oh, I don't know if you want this you know, like and she's getting she's getting like you know, she's like very carefully towing the line between like like she's getting a little mm-hmm. bit suggestive and then Emil Hirsch for a second like looks down at her body and then says like assures her that he's still interested in this. And I'm like, No, don't see that man. It it did feel a lot like there was there was dialogue was supposed to go over something else, like something was supposed to be happening rather than just sitting in a car, because it was pretty suggested dialogue. <laughs> but then again, like you said, through the ten year olds thing, and then maybe that's Spritel ruined it by popping out of the trunk. Oh, Spritel, we were gonna have sex. Mm, I was you popping out too. <laughs> um, this is how Spritel learns about sex. Did uh, think sex exists in this world? Was this movie? Then how sp- did they have three children over ten years? They just have them. They just pop out. Years. A they, sexual they reproduction. This They're brought by the store. Yeah. Okay, you're right. It is different universe. Did uh, was this? Were all the um, race scenes based on pod racers? Because <laughs> there was a lot. Because it was like in the sand, and they they went fast. And, and there was all the cheating and the blowing up of people mm-hmm. things. It so, really so races where people cheat are based on pod racing. The, when they cheat like this, yes, very when much. When it's so. all computer animated. Okay, yeah. So computer animated <laughs> races where people cheat. Yep. Based on pod racing. That's the one. And George looked, Lucas invited it. And that looked very much like pod racing. <laughs> yeah. You guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I super don't care about cars. I don't like, think this movie cares about cars either. <laughs> probably, but just like racing, like ooh, I'm like, oh, hey, Lauren, I super don't Lauren, care. This is not how cars and racing work. I get, real. I get that. But anything where like let's watch go fast, woo woo, like no, not for me. Can I ask you something about spear hooks too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> how do spear hooks help? the driver using it because it seems like it throws yeah. them both out of control it the driver. just just to just to the for the to listener out of the race. but then dude's not he's already win. lost by that point he's, but then he's very viciously trying to take speed out of the race that, well that he wants that million dollars but if he runs there's pillars if he runs speed into a, a pillar while he has him attached to a spear hook yeah but i mean that's hard to control thing you saw and like I as soon as that's out of the realm of possibilities <laughs> now, in this movie what speed did to avoid this was like hooked the car up so that the undersided went past the camera and everyone saw they were cheating you couldn't tell that those two cars are attached somehow yeah. for the like 500 feet that they're spinning but out it's, together it's without without question it's not like parts of their cars have attached to each other like it's not like bits of metal are getting tangled up it's, it's just one of one of the cars became positive and the other became negative they polarized together yeah it's yeah. Cute. Okay. <laughs> but, um, no no i uh, 
this movie, the more you talk about it, the more I think it's so terrible. <laughs> like it's still just like, you're just, you're just affirming what I already thought that this movie is so bad. It, uh, the, I felt like also it should have ended after that first big race. It should have mm-hmm. ended there. The very first at yeah. the beginning? No, well, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but the, the Caso, Casa Cristo, Casa, whatever, Casa Cristo, yeah. which, uh, wait, I'm sorry. No, though. Because that span is amazing. That spanned three continents? <laughs> what kind of a race spans three continents? That's crazy. That was insane. I, I anyway. don't think that's unrealistic, given the world that's It goes that's from up. Egypt oh, to uh, Iran to Turkey. It's know. like Street Fighter. <laughs> what the Street Fighter? India. No, I think Street, Street Fighter was <laughs> actually better than... You saw Street, Street Fighter? Oh, yeah. Street Fighter was a great game. Um, but I think it's interesting, given the races, that... So the Casa Cristo race, like, the attention is definitely speed and co coming in first and winning. But the other two big races we see, the one at the beginning and the Grand Prix, as you're pulling into the finish line, it's not about speed coming in first because it's a given. It's character moments in both of them. In the first one, it's whether or not he's going to beat his brother's time. And then, like, the last minute of the Grand Prix is not about speed overcoming anyone, really. Like, it's a it's a given by that time. You know, it's it's him finally embracing, you know, that he's racing for himself. Like, I, I don't know. Like, you guys are all looking at me, like, with, like, totally bitchy faces right now. Okay, and is the argument... That, that's still a holdover from us having to watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> is the argument that the car is so super amazing as well? Because the dramatic, you know, climax of the race... The car breaks down, and mm-hmm. Speed has to figure out how to fix it. So he's he, out. He has of to a, listen to yeah, the he car. Has to listen listen to with his it. heart, mm-hmm. and he's out of a high speed race for a good time, and then catches up, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Which? Why does everyone else have terrible cars? That the Mach Six is that the deal? The, can like point, catch yeah. up, no problem. Okay. And you're telling us right now that if we were, if he were to lose any of those races that it would have had the same impact that the winning wasn't the main goal it was just to show his character oh no i think he wants to win but i'm saying the tension it's a foregone conclusion by the end of the grand prix and at the beginning of the first um the the thunderhead race that he's going to finish in first but it's the it's the the personal context that's different no not really <laughs> it is i thought about what the color palette reminded me of the Dr. Seuss movies. Yeah. The, yeah your Grinches yeah. and hmm. and what's it called? Oh, mm-hmm. you guys love Grinch, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, so it fits really well into those, uh, the Grinch, the cat in the hat. Do you know how many Dutch angles there are in this movie? I can't <laughs> Did you? None. Really? <laughs> That's yeah. very true. Mm-hmm. It, I appreciate that. You know how many spinning cameras there are? Like a hundred. Okay, so I don't get. I, I honestly don't get the complaint again uh, about the the it the shifting. It was, I think it, this is a masterfully it, edited. It was movie. overused. Are we are overused. we talking about the shifting backdrop? When, yeah, like, okay. yeah, like where yeah. it shows one. It was and then again the other, and then disorienting. I, like, it was so disorienting. I, I felt I was gonna get epilepsy from this movie. Yeah. Is my conviction it's fun. because and then I think yeah. the the cutting back <laughs> and forth during the races where. Is is great. Kind of and back and forth between the races. Like okay, um, for you mean at the beginning, like during the Casa Cristo race where Trixie's racing, mm-hmm. the camera goes from oh, she's the Speed's car to oh, it's Trixie's like car, shifting in one yeah. shot. Back and, and it's forth. great, that and it really cool. establishes clarity in all the races. Like they, I think, for in as frantic moment, as these races are, establish clarity. Like, <laughs> I remember what I, the what was it iodine? Mm-hmm. Is that one of the motors that they made a big deal of? It. I have still have no idea what iodine, what the what the big deal with. That's that, just I mean, the, it's not important. It felt important in the movie. Like they were really harping on it. It's like one of the motives from like one of the older races. But then again, okay, I again I agree. I argue that if it was an inexpertly written script, that there were things that they would repeat and say and hit the importance of that weren't important, and then the important points weren't explained very well. And ah. Uh. And guys, like they kept repeating, you know, one of the ways they were trying to sabotage the racers after Speed said no to Royalton, they were bringing pops up on IP litigation. They said IP litigation a few times. Do you not know what IP is? I do. Are kids going to know what <laughs> IP litigation is that you say it that many times? Okay. Intellectual property is still confusing, but say it once just for the dummies. <sighs> yeah. I-, I had to explain <laughs> it to Lauren what IP was. You did not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How dare you? How very dare you. I mean, okay, so <laughs> this movie was aimed at children and was not very successful at being <laughs> aimed at children. But kind of like the 
the recent appreciation it's gotten has not been from children. So has there I don't been know. recent appreciation? Like, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think there's anyone oh, who appreciates this movie. Yes, no, I, I think Speed Racer argue. is definitely like yeah. reaching a, nope. like a cult following. Nope. I, I will acknowledge so. that as I was reading about it, that there was technical aspects of why this film was impressive, like how they were doing cutting edge stuff with the design the computer work and i can appreciate that there is that element that i can't fully appreciate because again my eyes are just <laughs> dazzled and going blank with all the inundation of sensory overload mm. all right guys let's uh do bobby and laura discuss gender politics in the movie we just watched i got the eye of the tiger susan b anthony was on the dollar coin for a week stop objectifying me Gloria. Diamond. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Who writes a minute was never read. Rosie the Riveter. Oh my god, Bobby, shut up. Rosie the Robot. Who's gonna make me my sandwich? My body, my choice. Blatant. Blatant. Susan B. Anthony was taken off the dollar for a reason. Beyonce. All right, guys, you know what this means. Bobby and Laura, you're gonna discuss gender politics in the movie we just watched. On your market set, go. <laughs> Well, um, I think that the female characters in this movie are greatly underused and they have some good potential, but they never really amount to anything. You have um, Speed's mom, and I don't remember her name or if we ever get to know her name. Um, and then you have Trixie, um, his girlfriend. And um, and then you have the one from that one family. who Uruka. Uruka. Yeah, so you have those three who are the main female in the movie. Um, and yeah, it would be kind of nice to see some female racers, too. Yeah, um, I agree. I think the women are underused. I think, I think some gender, some some opportunities for them to really mess up gender are are avoided. Like with with Trixie, I think they. They manage to make Trixie uh, like an interesting character, kind of, you know, they make her complicit in in what she's doing, you know, like she's the girlfriend character, but she gets to do more. She gets to fly her helicopter. But I do agree they're they're underused. They're um, they're supporting characters. There's a there's like a scene where where Mom Racer is making everyone a plate of sandwiches and like at the same time while well, that like makes that. You know, that's a warm moment for Mom Racer to do. She is making everyone sandwiches, which is kind of, like, I don't know. That rubbed me a little bit the wrong way. But, um, yeah, I agree. Okay, you guys, dial it back a bit. <laughs> this, is getting, this is getting too wild. Uh, but I will say, it's interesting that, um, it's cool that, like, you know, you meet these really um, brutish Vikings at one point, and one of them is <laughs> a woman. Um, they did try to sprinkle in women yeah. throughout like, like it, but it would have been cool if like Taijo, that character was a woman or something, you know, like one of the one of the leads got to be mm-hmm. a woman. That would have been cool. It would have been cool. Uh uh-uh. uh. But then you would you wouldn't have used much John Goodman. Cannonball but I was Taylor, say, if Cannonball Taylor had been a woman at the end. Like or or if mom was just more involved in the know. design of things, which wouldn't sure. have been very you know, faithful to the original cartoon. But she whatever. Pick up the, you know, one of those or even the royal tin if, I don't if think, it was a woman I mean, character. Tracy never raced a car in the <laughs> she was oh, but she unconscious was, girlfriend. She was so mm-hmm. hot. Yeah, she was. But yeah, I like that she, she got was. to fly a little helicopter, drive a little car. Like that's she gets to be a part of oh, the Oh, and action. she knows Kung Fu. And she knows Kung Fu, of course. And everyone knows Kung Fu except for Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, now what say we um, talk about the movie we, we wish we'd seen. Ugh, this movie is crap. I could write a better movie in my sleep. And now, IDOBM presents the movie we'd wish we'd seen. And we all know what that is. That is where we uh, talk about some other aspect of the movie that that would make its own movie. For instance, you, maybe you'd like to see a movie with just Spritel and Chim Chim. I don't think anyone wants that. Or like a sequel, a prequel, something like that. I, like I said, a character that is underdeveloped. Uh, let's go with Laura. How about you? Um, I think I would like to see a movie with 
female characters and male characters in the background. Like I would, <laughs> I think that would be interesting. Like if they took the roles and reversed them. So I don't know. Maybe that would be interesting. And also they would have to make some strong edits in this, in the movie, of course, <laughs> to make it more entertaining. But yeah, I don't know. I think that one might be an interesting take on the movie. How about you, Bobby? There's a moment where, um, Speed and Trixie lie to Pops Racer and say that they are going skiing. <laughs> I would love to see a movie where Speed and Trixie ski, because <laughs> skiing must look totally bananas in this world. <laughs> but then they're going to get like, into a fight with the preppy kids on the oh mountain, God, yeah. and they're going to have to mm-hmm. race to see who wins the mountain. Totally. <laughs> I-, I would like to see a movie where just Trixie just totally gets fucked. Just Aww, He plows no, her. Cause she's Black no. Snake Moon. What, it was called what? Black Snake Moon. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the cartoony version of of uh, Christina Ricci. I like her. No, actually, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> this one is going to kind of go into my final verdict of the movie. But just a movie. I, I like the rate with just the racing and the fighting, and and just cut down on the bullshit exposition, <laughs> exposition just as much as possible. Just give me a bare bones. This guy's bad, so try to win this race so you can get another this other, other race. And this guy, you know, I don't know. Just, you could you could simple it up so much, and it would be much better. Uh, how about you, Lauren? Uh, I think I don't mind some of the elements of this movie. I think there's a fine, like, hectic family movie in here. I think take it out of the hands of the Wachowski brothers because I think they're oh, too Jesus used. Oh, Jesus Christ. No way. I mean, I know a lot of it Holy is... Holy shit. I know shit. a lot is their vision, but I think they're too used to doing adult films and, like, don't approach a family film with the right attitude. I think give this to, like, Robert Rodriguez or someone. Oh, who, my like, God. Like, but, Jesus like, Christ. Robert, but, yes. Robert Rodriguez over the Wachowski Like, Spy Kids and stuff. Or, or the Wachowski, like, like, But he did a successful, you know, yeah, Spy Kids. crazy Amazing. family so movie. Good. But, like, yeah. Ryan and so, Fuller. Maybe Brian Fuller, but like someone that has done family mm. action movie, and so take it away and put it to someone like that might just have a little more knowledge of how to do a family film. Someone with the directing skill of Robert Rodriguez, exactly. Yeah. Or <laughs> don't market it for hits. Or do you could do your full grown up one. That's another option as well. Yeah. And then this movie, if we go into trivia, was in development for a long time. Whoa, 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 point, whoa, whoa! No, no, it's just a quick go. I have number. not introduced the trivia. Segment. At one point, J.J. Okay. Abrams wrote a draft of the mm-hmm. script. Like, I want to see his vision. <laughs> or just, I want, I want to give the script to someone else. Oh my god! I don't mind the bare I'm bones. I'm steaming right now. There would be so many lens flares. There, there would. Be, I don't think. And there'd right. be like such misappropriation of nostalgia. But it would just let's give it to. Uh-huh. I, I want a stronger script like for a more someone. Superficial director. Yeah. 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 I don't mind. <laughs> Crazy hectic movie, just like oh, I don't. Someone think it's who in doesn't right understand eighties nostalgia films, or someone who doesn't understand grindhouse movies. Yes, oh, I so get you it. admit <laughs> right now that the new Star Wars movie is going to suck? Because wait, J. wait, you best back up. <laughs> wait, that his 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 bit in. I, uh, I, I'm having Robert so much trouble Terror talking about that. Fine. Planet Machete Terror was bullshit. Planet Terror was great. I didn't okay. see Machete. Uh, Planet Terror was great. It was good. It was fine. It Five was better was than fine. than Tarantino's portion. Yeah. That I think Tarant- Tarantino's I portion, Death Race, should have been first, and then Planet Terror. Don't. Anyway, that that's in our other podcast. How Grindhouse would be better. But it's interesting that that was like one of Robert Rodriguez's best movies, and that was Tarantino's worst movie. <laughs> and they were, you know, pretty close. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I thought Planet Terror was a lot better. I thought this was my going over what movie I wish I'd seen. You guys just kind of You can't open up J.J. Abrams and Robert Rodriguez. All I'm saying is that I, I want to see the movie Thanksgiving from the trailer. I don't. You know, I disagree. J.J. Abrams did a really good job with like a family-friendly adventure movie. It was Super 8. Like We yeah. all remember Super good. 8. Yeah, Del- Super 8 was oh great. God, geez. Super 8 was great. <laughs> Super 8 was good. How dare you? It's the audience. I'm leaving the room right now. <laughs> Bye, Bobby. Slam, creak. Oh, my God. Don't sit. Wait, he's oh. back. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, don't would be another one. One of the great previews that we saw in that. Whatever, that was anyway. um, Edgar, Edgar Wright. Wright. Edgar Wright. Yeah. And also yeah. the best British cast in the world. I actually do want to see that. I was don't. thinking visually and certainly not consistently, but visually the, a movie I can think of that kind of matches the style is um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Ooh, I grew up doing um, one. Which I'm not, that's like one of my favorite movies. Would you have been fine if I'd said I want Edgar Wright to direct Speed Racer? Edgar Wright actually, would've... that would be perfect. <laughs> Edgar Wright would have been job. amazing at Speed Racer, but it, it would have been a totally been, different movie. It would have actually been funny. <laughs> um, <ew. laughs> it wouldn't have been ambitious, as in ambitious. And like, we didn't talk about like the, the art metaphor, which you all like scoffed at me at the beginning. But I think there's a very deliberate, um, very 
blunt and very simple art metaphor. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to metaphor. scoff at you. I think it was a general big business anti. Like I didn't mean to scoff at the artiness. Just, just that the laughing that it could it be there. I think it needed to um, I don't have more of an impact if they want. If they're going for that, I think that they should have. I don't, I don't think it's that much of a buy. Like sub out racing for art. And I, mm. I think it's right there. I don't even think it's. Well, I think it's that could be like anything. You could say it could be. There's harder. a there's literally you a scene like, where where mom put racer a says word and say like sub out racing and put in another word. There's a scene where mom racer says, "What you do out there is art." Mm. So in conclusion, it's also religion. <laughs> so in conclusion, the movie Lauren wished she'd seen is Thanksgiving. Sorry, we all no could. no no. Okay, I would never sorry <laughs> sorry. Not finish your thought. Bit. You know what? No, I'm done. Eli Roth. Eli Roth. Ugh. Roth could have done Speed Ugh. Racer. Ugh. Yeah, and everyone... if we're gonna throw it to Rodri- Robert Rodriguez, why not throw it to Eli? There, there were no w- bubbles. No, everyone would die. die. <laughs> and we could and see the body. It'd be very <laughs> graphic. And there would be cannibals in it too. Of course, one by one. He's really a cannibal. Murdered out of the room. Yeah. Cannibal Taylor eats his losers. <laughs> oh, he really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Laura, would you like to do IDOBM? I little, little. I don't think Laura's I... gonna do it. She's not prepared. No, I'm the one who left the trivia. <laughs> I mean, why'd you ask me to do it if you're going to ask Lord to do it? That Lauren's doesn't make sense. The one you're married to. I'm a little this offended. Really uh, oh, I, I have a cold. So it causes me not to say my N. My N's. Uh, see me every day. Let's do IDOBM IMDB trivia TM. With who? With, with Lauren Bowen. Oh, okay. Uh, Check yeah, your name for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Bowen part right. <laughs> Laura Boa. Uh, my favorite part looking at IMDb trivia. It's very exciting. There was, you know, some sort of basic stuff like, oh, voices from the original series had small roles in this. Oh, that's fun. And fun. the American and uh, Japanese voices. Like, okay, sure, why not? Um, through the development on this film started back in 1992. And so. Any film that sits on the shelf that works gets worked on that long has gone through lots of different hands, and so it was interesting to see people that were attached and came away. At some point, Vince Vaughn was going to produce and play Racer X, but then it languished so long that he dropped it. Sounds like a Racer great idea. Racer X is Rex, and yet he's a foot taller. <laughs> well, as well as the extensive plastic surgery on his face, he did get uh, knee extensions. No. I was going to say, Racer. I know that's big in China. But this is a Japanese property. Ah, that's a good point. So, you know. Other names attached to Keanu Reeves actually refused the role of Racer X. So Keanu Reeves refused to be in this movie. Whoa. Whoa. It must have been a bad that movie. Was in, like, the mid- <laughs> was that in the mid-90s or was that? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. If IMDb doesn't say it, Bobby, I don't know it. <laughs> I know in 1995, Johnny Depp was um, attached I didn't see to that. Yeah. So. Sorry, I don't mean to step on it. Oh, no, please. I didn't have that written down, so I'm glad that you brought it up. I do know the 1990s Nicholas K. Age was offered Nicholas a role. Cage. Which begs the question, guys, in our next segment, would this movie be better with Nicholas Cage in it? Wait, no, that's not us. That crap. Okay, <laughs> never mind. No, no, okay, go on. You, reference, <laughs> you just referenced two different other bad movie podcasts in like two sentences. Yeah, it's very good. Ni- very nice. <laughs> it's been, no, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then the one I did like, uh, Mr. Royalton says when he's giving the tour of the factory that uh, the drivers, they go through a rigorous training process because they need to be able to cope with speeds of up to 4G. 4G, which like playground merry-go-rounds can actually get up to pretty easily. Really? 4G is not that impressive. Um, okay. He doesn't say 4... Does he say 4G? I th- I'm I think he... I'm DB says he says 4G. <laughs> so it must be true. I think he said like something like 400 kil- kilometers an hour. Sure, one. I remember. I remember that. Uh, I. I'm sorry. IMDb says 4G. The card says moops. <laughs> and we do not fact it's check these things. <laughs> IMDb. IMDb is slightly more reputable than Wikipedia. <laughs> these are the facts. And that's been IDMB Doobie Doobie Dem D IMDb D B O. Yeah. You know what? I'm okay. I pulled this up. Space shuttle maximum during launch and reentry is only three Gs. I don't well, now know, you're I'm making me sound sh- foolish. No, I'm making IMDb sound okay, foolish. Okay, that's fair. It's, We're gonna I, cut this which out is then. crowdsourced. You're so. gonna, you're gonna. No, this is cast this aspersions is, on my lack of science knowledge and things. No, IMDb's lack of science okay, knowledge. Right. But uh, the fact that I couldn't source that. Eh, your job <laughs> is just. It isn't. Say you know, I mean. I'm gonna answer your question. Would Nicolas Cage be better in this movie? Cage. And it would be yes. <laughs> Um, I mean, does. of course, almost anyway, yeah. <laughs> and it's not IDOBM and other sources IMDb trivia. 
<laughs> or I, IMDb and other sources. Yeah. It's, it's not rigorously your job, fact check. Your job begins and ends at IDOB. Right. At this is IMDb. News. It does need to be true. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> All right, so, so that last one wasn't true, even though I enjoyed it the most because it was moaning the movie. But that wasn't a fact. The others were. All right, thank you very Woo! much. Uh, so, Bobby, you still like the movie? I love this movie. Are you? What are you watching there? I'm actually. Nope. You're right. It says 4G's. I just queued it up. But then the internet just proved that that's actually pretty impressive. So all right. <laughs> and but when rockets are launched, they don't go very fast. You know, they start gaining altitude with them. Well, I mean, it does say it says maximum during launch and reentry. So yeah, I know. So hmm. 4G. So we put what is 4G? What is the speed of 4G? We're gonna get cell phone things. Oh yeah. yeah. Boop, so, boop. and I'm not gonna look any further than that. Uh, so, Bobby, you still like the movie? I love this movie. Um, I, I'm sorry, I, I love this movie. I yeah. love this movie. Um, I took a bunch of notes on, yeah, like the my favorite moments and the deeper themes. I didn't know I'd have to defend the aesthetic for <laughs> an hour. But no, that's that's fine. Um, it's not for everyone. If you watch, I would say everyone watch the first 15 minutes and you know by the end of it if you're down for this movie or not. But I think it's great. Laura, have you changed your mind? I have not changed my mind. I think this movie is really, really bad and long. Really long. Two hours and 15 minutes worth of bright colors screaming at me and weird camera things going around in a circle. That's what it felt like. It felt like I was on a merry-go-round. That's what it did. I don't disagree with a that. 4G a 4G merry-go-round. A 4G merry-go-round. It's very fast. Or a uh, playground. Why can't think of it? And everyone knows merry-go-rounds are fun for about 30 seconds. Yeah, and exactly. then yeah. Merry-go-rounds are always fun. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. So you like the movie? <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, I want to give the benefit that there are elements of a good movie in here, of course. There's the family story, and they're trying to accomplish it. And I agree. L- Laura, theme- yawn right into that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I agree that the theme of, you know, corporation and, like, racing for profit versus, you know, doing something for yourself against anything in life, you know, doing it just for the business or doing it for your passion is a great theme. And so there are good elements here, but it's just... Visually a bit too crazy for me, and the actual technical matters of the story were too confusing. Like, when I had to stop through the movie and be like, wait, what happened? I don't understand. That doesn't work for me. I'd like a rewrite on the script. Thank you. You're Um, welcome. (laughs) And I gotta say, I really enjoyed the fight scenes and the racing. (laughs) I really enjoyed them. I'm almost enough to recommend the movie, but I, I would say if you're watching the movie at home... Uh, and and I would recommend actually watching the movie. Skip through anything. Anytime you see a close up of a head and the background moving, you can just skip fast forward right through that. And go straight to the exciting parts, mm-hmm. and maybe maybe use maybe use IMDb to find out why anything. Not IMDb, uh, uh, Wikipedia, like a Wikipedia synopsis to find out why anything is happening, and just enjoy the cartoon. Oh, and it was good, well cast too. Um, for maybe maybe the quite the principal, maybe a mill, uh, whatever. But, but if, like your John Goodman, yeah, it was great cast. Yeah, it was actually yeah. But if um, you see a child and a chimp, run. <laughs> well, that's just generally good advice. If you <laughs> if you see a child or a chimp, just get out of there. Because they're one or the other will throw poo you know, at you. I don't disagree. Emil Hirsch is not well cast. I was he just wasn't likable. I liked his older brother so way earnest. more. Judd Hirsch. Who's his older brother? No, oh. no, 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 no. Oh, in, 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 in the movie. And that's, <laughs> that's another thing. He was extremely earnest. Like, I'll grant you. I, I do I think it was like a good cast. Was, and yes. everyone was oh. really earnest. So when words like Chim Chim and Inspector Detector come out. How and else spritle? do you say Chim Chim or Inspector Detector you know, or Speed Racer I, other than earnest? But you when can. you're so, but well, like he's having a real like come to Jesus moment and those names come out. It's like, oh, I've lost. I've, I can't be serious now. <laughs> I, I also have to I say, want to say too. I, as much as I crapped all over Spritel in this movie, I honestly don't have that many problems with Jim Jim. I thought he was fun. <laughs> well, well, he didn't say a lot. He was a great actor. He's yeah. one of the greatest actors of our time. I must say. <laughs> uh, also, oh, did you guys, do you want to tell them? Oh yeah, there's apparently like sad animal abuse things that happened in this movie. I hate it now. Thirty minutes before I. <laughs> Where was that in IDBM? Hey, IMDb. What like the Jesus? I'm in trouble with words. Did you call uh, uh, her Laura? 
I said Lauren. No, I heard, I heard oh, Lauren. Bobby always gets it I'm right. Not Sam. <laughs> okay. That's, that's Bobby Sam. Bobby always there. knows who he's talking to. This, this is just a, a gag that we ha- we have going. I don't actually. Mm. Really it's happened on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think the audience is well acquainted with this. I, I do have to say, it looked not only did it look cool. I liked the look of it. It looked a lot like the cartoon. And and there was one point where mm-hmm. he gets out of a car and he kind of does like a almost a pose like they he do does in the cartoon. The pose and it's sad because corporations are winning. <laughs> and the pose isn't oh. really something a human should be able to do like the way it's yeah, animated it's is a little cartoony. like that's not how a human would stand uh, would stand mm-hmm. <laughs> uh so now that we did that um who has things they need to plug i'm gonna do a ghost plug actually because I'm, i've been meaning to do on the mini so <laughs> uh, i should have done that last month halloween's uh, done Jesse's um, our, our friend of the show Jesse his um, app um, Action action Hero oh, yeah, is that it's what it's called on, yeah it was previously only on uh, the good you know the good one the Android one but now you can get it on um, on Apple products if you have if you're unfortunate enough to have an Apple product and you totally should it's a fun game it and really he's working fun. on other ones that we that we've kind of um, oh, yeah, played the beta version doing beta versions of some other things he's been working on really fun you're welcome, Jesse. Yeah, Action yeah. Hero is free, though. You should get it. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. It's this totally has fun. Been ghost plugs. <laughs> Anyone else have anything to plug? Because I'll go again. I don't I care. I'll go, right I'll go for my own for my own <laughs> self. You have the best stuff happening. Okay. Uh, the upperclassmen, real quick. Um, we are on YouTube, which we've been there for a while, but I haven't been plugging yet. You can watch clips from our junk, drunk show, which are pretty good. We've got uh, our, hol- our holiday show is coming up December 12th at the Long Beach Playhouse at 8 o'clock. Our um, upperclassmen after dark mm. show Ooh. will be uh, Friday, December 18th, also at Long Beach Playhouse. And you should pretty, pretty please come to them and enjoy them and watch them. Sam, but I get right off work. I don't think I can make it to the theater by 8 p.m. on a Friday. Oh, I feel like you're setting me up like, well, oh, well, we have shuttles coming straight from your work. to the-, the show? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. For, um, it's at 11 p.m. Oh, is that why it's after dark? After dark. Uh, Sam. So which one is better, Sam? If someone oh, asks, which one should they get Good go question. <laughs> um, which one did I say? I think... <laughs> I th- okay, so usually if you can get pre-sale tickets for $5, on one of the shows, we're not able to pre-sell it. So it is um, only at the door. It's $10, and we would well, really... Well, that's nothing. I know, it's still for nothing. For Night of Entertainment. And that is the, I believe that's the holiday show uh, on December 12th. And so that one, if you can only come to one, I would say please come to that one. But if you could come to both, definitely please do that. So the After Dark one's the $10 one? No, no I think, uh, I should check. The holiday show is the $10 one, oh, the, okay. um, the December 12th. Now, Sam, I just went to your drunk show, and that one got pretty crazy. Did it? Is After Dark going to be remember. even crazier? Are there going to be orgies? <laughs> um, there will be orgies. As, there's always orgies. <laughs> um, there was talk. I don't know if I'll do it because I'm, I'm kind of a teetotaler. But there was talk that, yeah, we might still drink before the show. It's not officially a drunk show, but we might very well do it. Mm. So there is that. You crazy Can the person. audience drink too? Yes. Yeah, of course. The audience can always drink. Oh, that's that's, yeah, that's that's true. a beautiful that's thing. That's right. So you guys, <laughs> and sounds like fun. I feel bad taking all the plug time, so I'm going to go around the room. I want you each to plug one aspect of In Defense of Bad Movies, whether it's the website, the Facebook, or the Twitter. Lauren, go. Guys, we have a podcast called In Defense of Bad Movies. <laughs> it's we- where we talk about um, bad movies, and one of us will defend them to the other ones who are attacking. Um, you're available on iTunes and other places, and I think you should check it out. It's really good. And I'm sorry, I'm going to jump in and be a pain. Uh, I don't know what's going on with iTunes, but it's only keeping our recent 19 episodes, what most best? recent 19 episodes. But they're all gold. Y- they are all gold. Yeah. And so you can get them, go to our Tumblr, which is... Um, Whatever the, I forget. Oh, what so you, now you're it, going to plug the Tumblr. It's in defense of bad movies at tumblr.com. So get it there. Or I believe Bobby's been working on the website. Uh, oh. to claim to comment soon. Coming soon. Okay. <laughs> no, it's up there. The WordPress, isn't it? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The WordPress is up too. And that has older episodes if you want to. You can go directly to our Libsyn. Or, or Libsyn. Yeah. yeah. In defense of bad movies. That's probably the best way. Dot Libsyn.com. Yeah. Okay. L I B. S Y N. If you yeah. Google "In Defense of Bad Movies," lips in, you'll find it. Yeah, too. that's true too. Um, we have Facebook "In Defense of Bad Movies." Um, I have sadly not been keeping up with it, and I need to go get back. This episode will definitely be up and ready the next when it is up. So 
you guys hopefully will find it from there. Um, Bobby, would you like to link some of like the webpage, like different conversations about the movie? That yeah, could be something we would do, yeah, do that. if anyone wants to read impassioned, strong arguments for. It's time to not have a baby. Yay! <laughs> guys, this is real time exciting behind the scenes footage. <laughs> so, I uh, think that'll about do it. No, you didn't get oh. to me. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a serious call to action. Okay, if you have a Twitter account and you're listening, follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter following is pathetic. And I know <laughs> that there are some of you listening who have not followed our Twitter. So please follow our Twitter. It's at IDOBM Podcast. IDOBM Podcast. Well, we vow that. Um, for every person who who subscribes, we will tweet one BM. <laughs> no, or no, we'll we'll we will give not tweet one BM. <laughs> we'll give them candy. For we, each of our listeners who does not follow us, you guys, we Twitter, will. Is we Twitter will. still happening? Is that still a thing? Twitter is people aren't than, over Tim, Twitter yet. I don't know. No. Damn. Okay, so I think well that, then yes, follow us please. And if you don't have a Twitter account, it's totally easy to get. You go to twitter.com and you get an account. Oh, and review us. Thank you for the three reviews we have on iTunes. Yay. Aww, we sweet. do appreciate yeah, yeah, reviews, so please do yes. that. <laughs> so I think that about does it. So yeah, um, thank you everyone for listening and see you later. Bye. Goodbye.